Exactly. sacred service learning helped me to deepen my understanding of course material, but it also allowed me to deepen my understanding of myself and my identity as a future rabbi. Because of this experience, I feel more aware of my own biases that could influence my ability to lead the Jewish community. Additionally, my thoughts regarding a major aspect of Jewish communal life in the United States have grown more positive. Perhaps most significantly, I now feel more confident in my ability to navigate the Jewish professional world. Maybe there truly are things that one can only learn outside of the classroom, and my experience in sacred service learning has allowed me to do just that. Suddenly, the real world is my classroom, and the classroom is a part of the real world. The curriculum for teaching Jewish values can speak volumes about a Jewish day school. How these values factor into relationships between learners and educational leaders, how they factor into classroom management and discipline, and how they factor into social action programs can indicate if the school considers Judaism to be a value added or a core value of the school. Instead of a service project, a school that purposefully integrates Judaism into all curricular areas engages in sacred service learning. My upcoming article, which is in the editorial process, uh, attempts to navigate how my ideal Jewish day school could integrate secret service learning into the overall curriculum. Also, as a teaser, because it's not currently up there, so you'll have to wait a little bit longer and keep checking back. <laughs> More than a gym, more than a preschool, more than an event center. The Jewish Community Center in Cincinnati is more than all of these combined. It is a place where people, not just Jews, come to connect, to celebrate, to learn, and to give. It is truly a place where everyone can feel welcome. For me, the key word is community. I find that the pluralism and inclusion 
are not just catchwords at the JCC. They are the outlook and the values. Thank you. I was walking down a hallway in the long-term healthcare unit at Cedar Village Jewish Retirement Community a few weeks ago when I came across a woman sitting in her wheelchair in the middle of the hallway with tears in her eyes. Our eyes met, I smiled, and I asked if she wanted some company. She said yes, so I just knelt down on the floor next to her and took her hand. She told me that her son had come to visit her that morning, as he does every morning after working a night shift. This morning, seeing her had made him cry. She couldn't get the image of her strong, manly son crying out of her head. It made her feel guilty and helpless. And she asked me if maybe it would be better if she asked her son not to visit her anymore. I took her hand and asked, do you enjoy your son's visits? She nodded and smiled, very much so. But I don't want to hurt him by making him see me like this. Then I asked her how taking care of him as a child had made her feel. She grinned and began telling me all about his many accomplishments over the years and how much she loved making him chicken soup when he was sick or kissing his scraped knees better. She trailed off after a moment, then looked me in the eye and said, I guess it's his turn to take care of me now, isn't it? I didn't like to see him teased by the other boys at school or sick to his stomach with the flu, but I loved being the one that he turned to. I just nodded with tears in my eyes. What, spe what special expectations should there be of an organization when Jewish is a qualifier? What demands should there be on the leaders of such Jewish organizations to fulfill these expectations? As I have learned about Jewish family service through my service learning field work there, I have wondered how a leader or group of leaders integrates a moral principle into the infrastructure of an institution. JFS serves disadvantaged populations, enacting the Jewish value of caring for vulnerable members of society. A helping organization like JFS lives out its values by offering aid to the community in whatever ways it is capable. But through my exposure to the agency, I have seen that JFS also treats its own employees with the same rachamim compassion that it does its clients. The lessons that we learn through our service learning experience with its multifaceted, blended approach mirror the Jewish experiences and conversations we have on college campuses. We learn and we teach. We experience and we grow. And in this multidimensional process, students develop their Jewish identities. As I continue to learn to be an effective Jewish educator, I remain aware of the importance of dynamic experiences and conversations. The conversation need not be about dense theological issues to be related to Jewish identity. It is certainly important to be a knowledgeable Jewish leader, but my ability to connect and share is the key to engaging a Jewish college student. The friendship we've established is the basis for our encounter and for the student's growth.
all that's ever really changed the world. It's a very small number of people with great passion and drive and commitment. And I think that what we've seen is uh, we have at least nine of them in our presence. Uh, and there are many more, many more to grow and nurture and challenge our present and our future. The puzzle hopefully now looks complete. <laughs> and as you will see, we have tried to graphically represent how our community is not independent, despite this day of independence that we are celebrating, nor is it dependent. It is interdependent. We need each other. We need each of the organizations that supports us, 